The management of baboons is a very complex matter that has been a contentious issue for a long time. Urban areas continue to encroach on what was once the baboon's natural habitat. Interaction with humans can be potentially volatile and, in serious cases, fatal for baboons. The animals are viewed as a nuisance by some. The City of Cape Town, in partnership with various environmental entities, has a program in place. Last year, however, a troop known as CT2 moved outside of management borders. The moment that they crossed from, from that side of Constantia Neck and they went onto the Cecilia side of Saint, uh, Constantia Neck, City went, well, sorry, not really our problem, not our mandate, we, not, we're not going to not going to do anything. So the service provider NCC who looks after, is contracted to look after the, the, the baboon troops within the southern peninsula, the moment they come over on the side it's not their mandate anymore, it's nobody's. So it's nobody's mandate, they were just left, they were just abandoned. Baboon Watch stepped in to keep the troop away from the urban area. With the help of another organization, Baboon Matters, seven men were paid to work as baboon monitors and to keep the troops safe. Now, funding has run out. Over the course of the year, um, Baboon Matters and the general public have put in over 600,000 rand to this project. And it's just not sustainable. Um, we just can't keep doing cake sale funding to, to fund a project like this. So we really need the city of Cape Town to come up. They have a contract, they have a tender. This troop is part of that tender, it is part of the contract. So they should have their own people here. Um, but our guys are so good, I and mean, they're so good. So the easiest thing in the world would be just to, to keep our guys working. For these men, the loss of income will have dire consequences. They've also been working closely with the 19 baboons in the troop for a long time, and have a deep affinity for the animals. I'm feeling sad for myself and the other guys. If there's a way someone just can talk to the city, I will be happy. I would be happy to work for the city also. I can be happy if I see city coming to help us and we work together with the city. I will be happy, my heart. The NGOs are calling on the city of Cape Town to step up. However, the city says Troop CT2 has relocated to an area that does not fall under the contracted management area. It is important to note that the city's contract extension process of the current baboon management program has to comply with the Municipal Finance Management Act where strict parameters has to be complied with, such as no change of the program's scope as it will trigger a reset of the entire tender process and the risk of having no program at all. Andrew says the Cape Peninsula Baboon Management Joint Task Team has to advise on the next step. The current contract for the management program has been extended to December 2024. This will allow all stakeholders to finalise a more sustainable baboon management plan. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.